Okay, to start this workout, we're gonna do a burpee. So I'm gonna break down a burpee for you. You're gonna bend down, hands by your side, keep that core tight, feet out, back in, and jump up. I'll do another one down nice and slow. So down, out, back in, jump up. Let's put a bit of speed to it now for 45 seconds. Let's go. Nice little jump, hands come up. Always keep good form. Nice, let's go. 10 seconds. And then we're gonna go into a plank. All right, time, let's go into a plank now. Elbows underneath shoulders. You come up here. You wanna keep your back nice and straight. This is too hard, you can go down onto your knees. Remember, head is nice and neutral, back is straight. Concentrate on contracting that core. Keep that back nice and straight. We've got 10 seconds. Five, actually. Three, two, one. Ice skaters. It's like skating on the ice. That's why it's called an ice skater. So here, coming up, nice and, nice and light on your feet. Keep looking forward. And if you can, touch on the either side of your, on the outside of your shoe. If this is too much, you can slow it down. Step up, across, and down. If you want to get the form right here, and then you can progress into jumping. Got 15 seconds to go. Skate down that ice. 10 seconds. Whew. And we're into our next core exercise for 30 seconds. Three, two, one. Russian twists. Sitting back, legs together, knees together, and just rotate. I want you to touch the mat either side. To, keep, to make it a little easier, you can come up here. If that's too easy for you, you can come back. Find a spot that's challenging for you, and then just rotate through and wrap it out. We've got five seconds here, and then we're back into beautiful burpees because they're so easy. Woo. Let's go, burpees. All right, I'm not gonna talk. I'm just gonna fire a couple out. Let's go. There's one. Try and keep up with me. We'll do five quick. One more. Okay, now you can progress down. This is an easy way to step down. Here, out, stand. Here, stand. Push yourself, and then when you're tired, come down to this progression. We've got 10 seconds to go. Just breathe, because I'm breathing really hard. <laughs> Back into plank. Like I said before, if you want to go to your knees, start there. If, that's, if you want to challenge yourself more, go up. Get your knees off the ground and hold. Keep that back nice and straight. Head's neutral. And just focus on contracting your core. Draw your belly button in. We've got 10 seconds to go. Hold it. Almost there, come on. Three, two, one. Ice skaters, let's go. Over, get that rhythm. Skate down the ice. Chest up, looking forward, and just breathe. Almost there, it's the last round. It's meant to hurt a little bit. I'm hurting, but I'm gonna keep going. Let's go, come on. Keep good form. Almost there. 15 seconds. And we've got our last Russian twist. Let's go, 10. Come on. Keep up with me. Let's go. Five. Two. One. Russian twist. Find that spot you're comfortable with and rotate. Keep that core tight. You're gonna feel this in the obliques. They're the side muscles. They give you a strong core. Just breathe, rotate. If it's getting a bit hard, sit up a little further, but still keep that movement. Five seconds. Two, one.
To start this workout, we're gonna do squats. So I want you to stand in shoulder width apart. Keep that chest up during the squat and load up your heels. So come down and drive up. We're gonna start with a squat. Once you get comfortable with this movement, we can do a little variation and turn it into a jumping squat. So when we go into a jumping squat, I want you to drive up harder on the way up and you want to land softly on your toes. We'll go, I'm gonna go in five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, jump. There it is, a bit more explosive or on a nice soft landing as you land back. Good, come on. Two, one, crunch. Here I want your legs up, toes pointed. I want you to reach up like you're about to touch your toes. Go to where you're comfortable, keep that core engaged and reach wide. Keep those hands wide. Really use your abdominal muscles to drive you up. Come on, 30 seconds here, we've got 10 to go. Come on, work now, come on. Almost there, breathe. Two. One. Now we're gonna go into a windmill push-up. Variation for this is on your knees. So I'm gonna start on your knees, push-up position, back nice and straight. Do your push-up, come up, rotate. Other side now, down, up. Keep those elbows on a 45 degree to your body. You don't want them flaring out, keep them in. Keep good form, look after those shoulders. Let's go. Almost there, come on, 45 seconds of work. 20 to go. Work now. Ready, I'm gonna go up into the full progression now. Here we go. Toes up, back nice and straight. Up and drive, good. Almost there. Let's work. Last one. All right, next core workout. It's half jacks. So like we did before, hands above your head, toes pointed, up and tap. Again. Up and tap, control the weight on the way down. You can slam those ha hands on the mat if you want. Really drive it out, let's go, 10 seconds, come on. Work, good. Come on, we're almost there. Two, one, back up in the squats, let's go. Feet nice and wide, shoulder width apart, chest up. Go down the way you feel comfortable. Keeping the weight on those heels, keep those toes up. You can see there, weights on my heels as I'm driving up. This is too easy, you can go into a jumping squat. We'll go into it soon, but make sure you've got this action. When you're squatting down, keep those knees out. You don't want them coming in. Keep it wide in there, ready? We're gonna go into a jumping squat in three, two, one. Remember, drive up, soft landing. There you go, good work. It's a bit more explosive, it's a bit harder really gets the heart rate up. Whew, let's go. Two, one, let's go. Crunch. Keep those toes pointed. Keep wide and come up. All the way down, all the way up. Really slow down this movement and try and control your body weight. It's really gonna burn that core. Get a more effective workout. Let's go. 10 to go. Come on. Keep the legs nice and straight. Getting hard, I know, we're almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, windmills, let's go. Back on your knees, shoulders back, good position, elbows on 45, down, up, rotate, good. Again, other side, keep up with me, it's good. Come on, you're almost there. Yeah, nice. Keep the back nice and straight, head in good position. Oh, we've got 20 seconds. Come on, let's work, let's work, let's go. Come on, Oof. I'm feeling good. I have to go up into a normal position now, Are you ready? Let's go. So toes, nice and straight legs, let's go. Drive, up, keep that form. Set yourself before every rep. Two, one, time, let's go. Half jacks, last round, toes pointed, hands are nice and long, up and tap. Good, up, tap, there you go. Control the weight, think about what you're doing. It's the last set. You're gonna get a little shaky now. Almost there, 10 seconds. There's five to go, come on. Work now, almost there, good work. Two, 
Woo. One, and that is time. Ha. Ah. Hey guys, to start this workout, we're gonna do a sit through with a push up. So we're gonna build up to it. So start in the sit through position, perform your sit through. One, two, we're gonna start with a push up on the knees. Let's get a little faster now. So one, two, push up. Again, find that rhythm first, get used to the exercise. There's a lot going on, a lot you gotta think about and a lot of stress on the shoulders. So start on your knees, and then we can work. I'll give you a couple of reps now. One, two, down. One more. Next, we've got a core exercise. So we're going into core, leg raises. I want you to start first, hands by side or underneath you. You're gonna bend those knees. Come up and down. Contract that core. You can bring your head up a little bit if you want and breathe through, keep that core tight. Once you're comfortable with this exercise, we'll go into a complete leg raise. So toes pointed, straight legs and up. But master the first exercise, then move up to this. Now we're gonna do a wide squat to narrow. So wide squat, chest up, step it in, bring your knees as close together as possible and in. Wide, narrow. Same action, keep that chest up, keeping the weight on your heels, keep that head nice and neutral. Breathe it out. And have your feet out a little bit, whatever's more natural for you to squat. Once you get close to this, then you can flow a bit so you can jump wide, narrow, soft landing. We get used to the movement first, almost there. Now we're gonna do scissors on our back. So hands by side or underneath you, whatever's more natural. Start with bent knees if you want. Get used to the motion. Keep that core tight and breathe. This is a core exercise. Once you're comfortable with this, this is the full scissor like before. So toes pointed, up and pulse it. Kick it, kick those legs. Scissor away, let's go. Three. Two, one. Back into our push up with sit through, like I said before. One, two, on your knees. Again, one, two. Keep that head, okay, head up nice and neutral. Get that flow first. Get used to the movement, and you can progress forward. Okay, I'm almost ready. You ready? Let's go for some. One. Two, up. One, two, good. It's all about flowing, not jarring, keeping good form. Once you get that flow, just flow through it, one. Okay, back onto our back. Whew. Hands underneath if you want, start here. Whatever feels more comfortable. Once you master this, we can go into straight leg raises. So a couple more reps here. Two, one, now up. Keep the toes nice and pointed, legs straight. Contract that core, control your legs. Three, two, one. Squats wide, weight on your heels, down, up, push, together. There you go, good. Breathe, it's gonna get a bit harder now. It's the last round. Different angles on the legs. Get the rhythm. Breathe. Weight on your heels. Head nice and neutral. <sighs> Breathe, good work. Nice. All right, we're gonna go now. Let's jump. It's all about finding the flow. Nice and soft landing. Up, down. <sighs> 10 seconds, come on, push. 
and we've got scissors next, and then we can go have a drink. Glass of water, that is no beer. Come on, let's go. On your back, here. Contract that core. Your hands don't have to be underneath you, they can be by your side. This feels more natural for me. All right, let's go for full scissor now. Toes pointed and up. Contract that core. Keep the toes pointed. We're almost there, five seconds, come on. Three, two, one. That is time, good job. Whew. 